I mentioned I'd do a real quick test review. I'm limited in my um, screencastifies to five minutes, so I had to start another one. Um, but I'm looking at the test now. There's the test. And it's the same test I posted on Google Classroom for you. Um, the first question says, when feeding the router at a fast rate and a deep cut, um, what will happen? So too fast and too deep of a cut. Um, something to know is when feeding too fast, too deep. I mentioned it in the last video. You'll overload the motor. So you'll end up bogging down the motor. It can't spin at the 25,000, 26,000 revolutions per minute that it usually spins at. And so if it can't spin at that 25, 26,000 RPMs, it slows down and then it causes um, the motor to be overloaded and then it starts to burn the material. So too deep of a cut is not good. The deepest cut we usually make on the router is about a 16th of an inch. If we wanted to make a 3 8 deep cut, we'd have to make it in a, a, a few different passes, like the jointer. Um, next one I have on here, the type of router in which the motor is clamped to the base with the spring. Um, if it's clamped with the spring, that spring must allow it to be able to dive into the material. And in the last video I mentioned there's two, really two different types of routers, conventional fixed base and then the plunge. The plunge router has a spring that allows the router bit to dive down inside. Um, routing that is done without guides, I mentioned is freehand routing. I mentioned the speed that the router runs already. Uh, I would know what a rabbit dado and, and groove are. You're going to need to know what those are. Um, I mentioned about eye protection. Um, when operating a handheld router, you should know which direction to run. In the last video, I mentioned you should run left to right with a conventional handheld router. With a tabletop router, because the router is inverted, it goes the opposite direction, right to left. Oh, true and false. Blades, router bits with a pilot are meant to cut internal cuts on the material. That's true. They are. And then the last section of the test, I have a picture for you of the router. And you just have to label the parts. If you have any questions about the router test, let me know.